Uh, here we go, YouTube. It's Jason, Barber Educator, back at you again with one more product review. I'm going to keep them coming. I know it's been a while since so I put one out. And uh, this time, y'all, don't forget to like, hit the like button and the subscribe button because I'm bringing you good information. If you like the information I'm bringing you, the new products, review them for you, and hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be bringing you more and more products. So, what we got here for you today is the fiber, her fiber. I know that most people, we got the topic, pump, that most of you are used to, and then we got something new. I'm bringing you the Samson Fiber Sprayer. It's battery operated. It takes AA batteries, three, three AA batteries inside. It has two um, dispenser buttons that you know the number first button is for lighter pressure. The second button is for, it spits out more fibers. I have one client that I use the second button on because he's pretty thin throughout here. And uh, matter of fact, for that particular client, I even asked him to purchase his own uh, fibers and leave them with me because I had to use so much product on his hair in order to avoid me charging him uh, more than I, than I feel like he's willing to pay. It was cheaper for him to just buy his own fibers in bulk. And what I do when, they, when he come in, I screw this off and I have an old bottle uh, from another brand and I, keep, and I take his product, which is here, and his bag, you see we got his name here, Folly Tech, you can buy this in bulk and you save a lot of money instead of buying it in a small thing like this. And then I take his container like this, an old one, and I screw it on here and I use it on him. I take it off when I'm done with him and I put it back up for him for the next time he comes in. And I put mine back on that I use on everybody else. <clears throat> so as you can see, what we're going to do here, give you the next example of how once you hold the button, the product, you see the product shooting on the plate. And then with the second button, it shoots out a little heavy. Okay, you two. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take tunes. I'm coming back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do example product using this product in action on an actual model. Stay tuned. We back here with the Samson fiber sprayer. I'm going to demonstrate you a little tutorial. You know, not only just using this, but just applying fibers in general. Okay. First, we're going to go over the edge a little bit. So. Take my trimmers. Move the edge up just a little bit. Those hairs right here are just sticking out a little bit over the edge up. Around here. The other side. Keep everything consistent. A couple of hairs sticking up from that. Simple. Long heroes 
not 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 my number one hitters at the time, so they just doing a little some, get them set up for the fighters. Get that curve in there. Use fibers all the way around if you want to, anywhere on the head. But I'm basically just going to use it in the front for the, for the purpose of the video. Get you some spray comics for you to use. Some people say take the holding spray or your spray or whatever and spray and spray uh, ahead of time uh, prior to applying any fibers. For me personally, I find that to be a uh, flaw because if you mess around and and, and just give it a little bit too much fiber shoot out at a time, it's hard for you to correct it because it's going to be sticking too much to the, to the uh, spray that you had put in previously. So I'd rather leave it dry. That way if I got to do any, any corrective measures, it's easy for me to take, take my gun, lightly blow a little bit off, or I can take my brush, if I, if I put too much in my spot, brush a little bit off, or whatever I need to do. But if you spray that holding spray or that spritz prior to applying the fibers, it's going to be sticking, it's going to be hard to do that. It's going to have a whole big mess. You're going to wipe all off and start all the way over again. So, what we'll do here, I want to get this corner in here, and at the same time, get a piece of this corner up here. This corner and this corner, you get the same time. Uh, by you, by teaming the cards up, you angle it to get the exact angle of, of, of your line that you had all your people put in. You can see here where it's thin, where the skin at. See here where it's kind of thin, where the hairline is thin at. Sometimes you can just shoot onto the card to get, make sure you got it started, you got the fiber started, coming out. Then you can lightly apply. And you can see that filling in right there. There you go. You got your fire. Now I can leave that there and I can come back and seal it with spritz or I can seal it with just any brand, any brand of holding spray. It don't have to be the brand that came with the company. It can be, that's fine if you want to spend that type of money, but me perfect. If whatever holding spray I get my hands on, I'm cool with that. You get the bin going for your curve. Fingers, get the bend going for the curve. Take that curve, create that curve here, and then you can try your fiber right on that curve. Boom, you're good. You come back and you start working your way that way. of the video, I'm going to start right here. Uh, not right here, but I'm going to start from this side, okay? Now, several ways you can do this. I can come down and I can hit it with the spritz and then come back to the raisin, crispy. Alright? Or, I can just touch it up first with the trimmer. This is for not, this is for not going to use the raisin. I can touch it up first with the trimmer. You can push the dust back into the hair, or you can scrape it back out. That's how you want to do it. You can do both. 
See that clean up job right there? Easy to clean up when it's not when it's not sticking because I haven't put any I haven't put any spritz or any um, holding spray on it. So it's easy to to shape up when you haven't put anything on. See how crispy that is? Just this curve. Crispy. Right, come on down here, clean them up. Now this is the method I use if I'm not gonna use any, if I'm not gonna use the razor. That way I can just take the aerosol, aerosol holding spray. Use some type of spray shield so you want to get it out on their face. And I'm going to seal it in. Once I seal it, once I seal it in with the, with the holding spray, come back to the blow dryer. Seal it in, it ain't going nowhere. Like my boy Get Beam say, applying that pressure. It's your boy Jason Barber, educator. Holla at me.